Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is a moment that we come together and we share our testimony. We share of the goodness of what our God has done, what we have heard him do, what we've experienced him doing. Sharing your testimony is such and a beautiful and amazing thing and it gives God so much glory. When you speak of what he has done, it blesses those around you. Yeah. It encourages you. It encourages the people that you may have known. This right here is such a beautiful moment to share your testimony, to release it, and to encourage your brother, your sister, and to bring it back to your understanding. Yeah. Hallelujah. So testimony is just so beautiful, so honorable, and it just gives the God so much honor. So much praise that God has done something for you and he desires for us to share them, for us to spread them, for us to continue the work that has been done on you to be done to yeah. others. So take this moment, meditate on a testimony that's on your heart and surrender all on to Jesus and he'll lead and guide you to whatever testimony that needs to be shared here in this place today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you would help us figure out what testimony will bless those around me, what testimony that I need to hear again, what testimony, Lord, that your kingdom needs to hear again, what testimony, Lord, will bring your kingdom forth, God. Whatever word, whatever beautiful word, whatever beautiful, miraculous work that you have done inside of me, done inside the people, Allow us to share it in this place today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Well, I'm going to start with my testimony. Um, one testimony that I have, I'm sorry. One testimony that I have is I'm really experiencing the fruits and the things of God from obedience. You know, you always reap what you sow. That means when you reap into good ground, you indeed do good things for the Lord, you always reap back more and more and more. For example, um, what happened recently is I've been, you know, I work at a daycare and I help children that are here, you know, and this is like perfect practice for me to learn how to be a strong leader, to help children, to learn how to teach others. And God used this as a moment to prune me and to change the insides of me, to really make me into a better person, a better um, person for him, for the gospel. And um, God put me through so much regarding it, you know, how to surrender, how to, you know, allow him to speak that's inside of me. What I would do is I would just surrender to everything and I would just share love to the children, just how Jesus has shared on to me. And I would teach people with delicacy with, you know, detail in every little area. And I try to really do my best to honor them as God honors me and his people, that he loves yeah. them, that he cares for them. So as he has done that in my life, I started doing it in other people's lives. So with the children, I'm sweet and kind with them, and I do all that God wants me to do. And I don't even look for a reward or anything in his stage or anything like that. And I'm noticing that, you know, throughout time, through all of my beings in doing this, I've received so much favor with the parents, with the children, and the parents tell them that the children are talking about me and how much they love the daycare. I'm like, wow, I mean, that's exciting. That's great that all that I'm doing for the Lord, you know, surrendering myself, pruning myself, and I reap something as well. I reap something that is good. You know, I'm like, wow, God, this is amazing. I mean, I don't feel like a special person at all for someone to be loved like this, that all the kids act this way when I come in a room. I'm like, okay, okay. Like, you know, it just it just hasn't hit me yet. Like, I get it, thank you. You know, and, um, and I'm just so happy and honored that I can reap back what I saw. You know, as I spoke and spent time with Jesus, he simply said, son, you reap what you sow, simple as that, that I'm always surrendering my wants for his wants, and I always just receive back from it. You know, I'm just so excited about that. I'm just so amazed about that, like, wow, God, whatever I sow into you. And it's been like this for so many things recently, like me for school, I mean, for my home, I mean, I've just been receiving so much great things. So my testimony is simply that there is a reward 
for every single time you're obedient to God, yeah. every single time you surrender to Him, there is a sweet reward on the other side. Hallelujah. 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 Any other testimonies? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, God is good. I thank God for all that he does. Yes, Hallelujah. But today I'm here to thank God for answering prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, many years ago, um, I was working in daycare and I had long hours. I would start earlier. I, I, I believe it was like 6 o'clock till it was 7.30. It was long hours. And it came to the weekend. And I remember walking up the stairs in my house and I had this strong desire to take the kids to take some children to the zoo. Now I know that that was in me because I work with kids for long hours Monday through Friday and sometimes on Saturday so on my day off I am not going to want to take the children to the zoo. Yeah. So when I say children it's like I wanted to take my son and to whoever want to go, I wanted to take him to the zoo. So I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Why do I want to go to the zoo? I don't want to go to the zoo. You know, what in the world? So I had asked, I had asked my son. I was like, you want to go to the zoo? He was like, yeah, I've been praying. <laughs> I've been praying to go to the zoo. And I'm like, is this ridiculous? That God would answer a yes. God is so good that he would add answer a child's prayer yes. of wanting to go to something so simple as yes. the zoo. Yes. So we all gathered. I gathered, you know, all the ones that would come and we went to the zoo. And I'm like, this is just mind-blowing yes. how God would touch somebody's heart yes. to answer a prayer for somebody else. Yes. So I just thank God for answer prayer. And it just really just showed me that, that God hears us. And we never know where an answer or how our answer is going to come when we ask for something and for when we ask for the Lord to do it. And I just, but I thank God for taking the time and answering the prayer and allowing it to be through me so I can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that He always answers prayers. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Wow! What a beautiful way of God's heart that He answers prayers of his people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, y'all. Hallelujah. All right. I just want to say, um, the Lord is so good. And, um, yeah. He gave me um, I actually saw him for the first time um, a few years ago. I had a dream about him. And I was, I was going through my battles and my tribulations. And he gave me a reminder that he is good, he is God, and that he is always going to show favor. He's yeah. always going to be faithful. So I'll tell you the dream. So one day, it was me and this man uh, building this house. And uh, something just told me to turn around. And as I turned around, I see Jesus walking up the hill. Just walking up the hill. I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I ran to him. I got on my knees and I worshiped him. Yeah. He just looked at me, me patted my head. And he's telepathic me that everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. So yeah. yeah. Everything's gonna be alright. Keep pushing, keep praying, keep receiving God's goodness. He's gonna make everything alright. trouble. Yeah. Glory be to God that he will speak through us in visions and dreams. Yeah. That he will give us beautiful encounters yeah. that we can hold on forever. Glory be to God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is there any more testimonies? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 But glory be to God. Glory Hallelujah. God. God is good. God is amazing. Um, Answer prayers. I mean, as Pastor brought out, answer prayers. I remember um, when, and, and actually on dreams as well. I remember um, being at home one time and one night, and it just I fell asleep, and I could hear God speaking. I, I couldn't see everything or don't remember everything that was going on, but I knew it was time for me to go into real estate. And I'm like, okay, God, how do I get into real estate? Nobody, I, 
got, I know people that's in real estate, but you know, I wouldn't expect them to get anything from them. Um, so how do I get into it? And God began to show me, he said, well, just like you get into anything else, you have to learn. And I said, okay. So he said, I'm gonna, I want you to go to school. And I said, go to school for real estate. I said, oh Lord. I said, okay, now you don't mean that school thing, <laughs> you know, that, that been a thing. Now, you know, I can think about, you know, the grade schools, some of the schools that, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't my thing. You know, I, I, I didn't, you know, I don't like school. I didn't like school, but I went, I went and I remember um, the school, um, there was something was in the email and they had a discount on, on the school. And I was like, wow, okay. God, I know this is you because it normally costs this, but now it costs this. Yes. Oh, and I said, okay, God, that's an open door, so I'm gonna go through the door. Yeah. So I paid for my school, I went to the school, and I was there and learning all of the things that I needed to learn, and it was like, okay, okay, okay. So as the professor of the school began to tell me, he said, well, I want everybody to know, because it was at the end, I did all the courses and everything. It was time to go take the state test. Got time to go to take the big test. And he said, "Now I want everybody to know that if you if you fail, you get to take this over and over again. So it is not something that you have to worry about. Most agents, most new agents, fail the first time around. So it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't stress out. We just gonna we just gonna prepare and go back through it again. Don't worry about it." So I'm thinking to myself, I said, okay, God, now you torture me through school because you know I don't like school. I am not going through this again. <laughs> so I remember on the way there, I was praying and I was praying and I kept asking God, I said, God, I want to do it one time. I don't want to have to go back and forth. I don't want to have to go back and learn all that again because there's so much to it. There's the real estate law and all. There was so much to it. And so I get down there and... You know, you have to give them your keys, you gotta give them your phone, you have to give them all your stuff, you can't have nothing. You got all they're gonna do is sit you right in front of the computer without anything to give you a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. That's all you got. So I'm sitting there and I'm going through this test and, and I'm like, okay. And I'm going through it and I'm, I'm praying, I said, God, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that means, I don't remember that. That was, that was not in the class, this wasn't in the class. <laughs> And I'm going through it, and, and God said, and I'm hearing God say, it's going to be okay, just, just keep on, keep on, keep on. So it got to a point in the, in, in, in the test where it came to where they started talking about square foot, and oh my God, math. Okay, so math started to really mess with my head, and I'm like, okay, God. And I said, God, and it's a time test. you got so many times, so on the bottom of the computer, you can see how the time is running out. And I'm like, oh God, how in the world, this is, I'm running out of time and I got another session to go. God, what I'm gonna do, and I don't wanna have to take this over again. And I sat there starting to feel defeated. And the first thing the enemy was starting to tell me that, well, you know, you can take it over again. Next time you come, you'll be confident. Next time you come, you'll know more. Next time you come, you'll do right. Next time, I've been hearing all of these excuses, right? And then all of a sudden I heard D. I said, D? D? Hallelujah. I looked at the computer and said, D? Hey, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing that. I'm like, where is coming from? C, A, and I'm going through it, going through it, going through it, going through it. And when it's all said and done, I passed with flying colors. Hallelujah! I didn't have to do it all in the the Lord's grace is more than enough. Yes. Glory yes. Be and He knows what season we're in, and He knows how much grace to release onto us yes. so we can complete what He wants us to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Is there any more testimonies? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.